Hi everyone, I am Bilal from University of Engineering and Technology, Texla, and I am here to present my research work on diagnosis of cardiac disorders featuring pulse plethysmograph signals. So these are the contents of today's presentation, and I will go through each of them in detail as the presentation progresses. So starting with the introduction, uh, I would like to in introduce the study by first explaining the concept of uh, cardiovascular diseases. Then I'll discuss the pulse plethysmograph signals. Then I'll um, then I'd like to talk about the motivation behind the study. And lastly, um, some of the most recent research studies will be discussed. So cardiovascular diseases. Cardiovascular diseases is an umbrella term used for all kinds of heart diseases. In this study, we will uh, cover three of them, including dilated cardiomyopathy, acute coronary syndrome, and calcific aortic valve disease. Cardiomyopathy uh, is a disease of heart muscles, and dilated cardiomyopathy is a dilation of heart muscles that causes difficulty in pumping. Acute coronary syndrome uh, is a collective term used to describe various conditions that eventually lead to uh, myocardial infections. Myocardial infections or MI uh, is a medical term uh, used for heart attack. Calcific aortic valve disease is a disease in which calcification causes thickness of aortic valves. Variety of techniques such as uh, photoplethysmography, phonocardiography, ECG, MRI, angiography are available for uh, cardiovascular disease detection, uh, but we opt for pulse plethysmography signal in this research study. Pulse plethysmography is a technique uh, used to measure blood volume changes. It basically measures the pressure changes and since we have a direct relationship between pressure and volume, so pressure is directly used to measure volume changes um, in this technique. Pulse plethysmography should not be confused with photoplethysmography, in which uh, infrared light is used to measure volumetric change. But photoplethysmography, uh, pulse plethysmography is used for the detection of various diseases. Uh, and irregular heartbeats. So the main motivation behind uh, this research study is the is that cardiovascular diseases is a leading death factor. In year 2019, around 35% of the global deaths were caused by um, cardiovascular diseases. An estimated 17.9 million deaths were accounted for each year due to cardiovascular diseases and 85% of them are due to heart attacks and heart strokes. Secondly, pulse plethysmograph signals are selected for uh, detection of cardiovascular diseases because it's a painless and efficient data acquisition method and is also non-invasive. Lastly, in this recent year, only a few research studies uses pulse plethysmograph signals uh, for the detection of cardiovascular disease. Here is a brief introduction of previous studies uh, used for the classification of cardiovascular diseases. These, uh, these research studies include uh, machine learning as well as class, uh, deep learning approaches for the detection of disease, and most of them achieve more than 90% accuracy. This is our proposed methodology for the detection of cardiovascular diseases. Firstly, uh, data is acquired, uh, database of pulse plethysmograph is acquired, uh, and then it is pre processed to remove any kind of noise and artifacts. Then, features, time domain, and frequency domain features are extracted uh, from the pre processed signal, and classification is performed using machine learning approaches. Data is acquired using PTN104 pressure sensor and NIMI tag. 
uh, all the signals are required from index finger of subject uh, with five second or with duration of five second each and sampling frequency of 1212 hertz the data is collected from various sources within in the vicinity of the sound bar the normal um, the normal class consists of 500 signals while the dilated cardio myopathy consists of 386 there are five, 350 um, signals uh, from acute coronary syndrome and 400 signals are there for um, falsific aortic pulse disorder this is the data acquisition setup so we have an i my dac here and ptn uh, 104 sensor pressure sensor and the image on the top right um, shows the data acquisition um, from subject in real time Pre-processing phase um, is basically carried out to remove power line noise. In this noise, in this uh, process, an amalgam of empirical mode decomposition and discrete wavelet transform is used uh, to remove power line noise. Firstly, empirical mode decomposition is carried out to decompose the signal into discrete IMF. Uh, or intrinsic mode functions. We reject the first two IMFs because the, the first two IMFs contain high frequency components and the remaining IMFs um, are filtered using uh, discrete wavelet decomposition with uh, DB5, DB5 as mother wavelet and five level of decomposition. These are the original and pre-processed signals for all the four classes. It can be seen that uh, noise is efficiently removed from the original signal. For a signal classification system to exhibit better performance, feature extraction plays a critical role. Considering this fact, we made extensive experimentation to figure out a powerful feature vector. And we come up with uh, this feature set of five features, starting from a feature vector of 31 features. It is the experimentation of these uh, selection process and can be seen that uh, the maximum accuracy achieved is 99.6 with five features and cubic SVM. These features include spectral mean, spectral skewness, spectral kurtosis, spectral energy, and log music. For classification, SVM is used SVM or support vector machine is a supervised learning algorithm that can classify linearly non-separable data by making a hyperplane or a combination of hyperplane in high dimension space. SVM are based on the idea of finding a hyperplane that best divides the data into two ways. In this project, we use cubic kernel with five-fold cross-validation. Moving toward the results, with five selected features and cubic SVM, we got a maximum accuracy of 99.6. And according to confusion matrix, all the sample data of all the classes is correctly classified except the 5% of uh, calcific aortic valve disorder. Here is the comparison of proposed methodology with the previous techniques, and it can be seen that. Um, our proposed method perform well in term of total classification accuracy as compared to all the previous research studies. Moving toward conclusion, the proposed diagnost diagnostic system can be used in clinical applications due to low computational complexity and results in term of accuracy clearly shows the feasibility of proposed system in clinical applications. The system can be used as diagnostic decision support system that assists the doctors in making decisions about cardiovascular diseases. It can be easily concluded that the classification using pulse plethysmograph signals is a new, new domain and working on it can lead to new systems that are way better than PPG, PCG and ECG. 
it is non invasive as well and give better results at very low cost that's all from my side thank you